Hey everyone, it's the Pepper Ranger here, back with another exciting pod review. Today's a very special one because we're going to be looking at the King Star Lemon Starburst. King Star is a popular pepper grower on YouTube. Uh, he's got you know pepper lover communities on Facebook, um, and you know he's just an inspiration to a lot of us pepper growers. And this is one of his creations. It's a cross between an MOA Scotch bonnet and a Bohemian goat that he just grew out uh, for several generations until he finally got this awesome looking pod. So yeah, I have one of these growing outside, one of these growing inside. So yeah, let's go out to the garden and check it out. All right, so here's my King Star Lemon Starburst plant. As you can see, there are a ton of pods forming. Some really gnarly looking ones. Not a whole lot ripening right now, but really cool shape peppers. Here's the one that I'm going to eat. Really nice tail on that thing. Quite proud of the way this one looks. So yeah, let's pop it off and go in and try it out. Alright, so here it is again in all its glory. Kind of got that bonnet shape with the almost four full lobes there. Nice and pointy. So yeah, let's cut it open. Take a look. Didn't quite get right down the center, but should have a good look in there. It's a pretty big placenta. Can't see a whole lot of seeds right now. Man, I can just smell it from here though. Looks like a bit of oil there. Let's look at this other half. They have a really cool color. I think these guys run about, I don't know, 150 to 300,000 Scoville heat units. Let's give it a smell. Very fruity smelling. They smell like the Bohemian goat, which makes sense because that's one of its parents. Yeah, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these seeds out. There's a better look at the inside without the seeds. So yeah, about a medium walled pepper. All right, so without any further ado, the King Star Lemon Starburst. All right, it's all down now. <coughs> Overwhelming. So right off the bat, um, it's a nice crunchy pepper. Uh, it lends itself well to those thick walls, medium, medium thick walls. Um, kind of the same floral uh, taste of that Bohemian goat. A lot more citrusy though, I'd say. A little more refreshing. I do pick up some lemon, I think, from that. I don't know if it's because, because it's called a lemon starburst or what, um, or because it looks like a lemon. But a really, really good tasting pod. Just let the heat burn, let it build a little bit. It's a nice stinging burn on the you know bottom of the tongue, sides of the mouth. It's 
<laughs> it's actually, <clears throat> I can feel it in my stomach already. I would say it's at least on par heat wise with the Bohemian Goat. I've never had a Scotch bonnet before, so I can't compare the taste to that, but taste or heat to that. But I can definitely taste the, uh, the Bohemian Goat in that one. Got some sweat, sweat going now. Pretty floral on that, I'd say. More floral than a Bohemian Goat. Man, that's a hot one. You know, I had had my indoor plant, which I'll, I'll, I'll show pictures of too. That had all these tiny little, little pods. I pop those in. Excuse me. All right, sorry about that. We had uh, <clears throat> some technical difficulties, uh, but back to the pepper. Um, really great tasting. Heat level, for me, you probably got to maybe a five, five and a half. It was a really juicy pod. I think the walls in this one were, uh, were thicker than the Bohemian Goat, so it was more juicy. Uh, spread around that capsaicin oil a lot more, it seemed like. So I had an, an all-around mouth burn uh, into the stomach. Didn't have anything in the throat. Um, it, I mean, overall, it was a really nice burn. Really, really good tasting pepper. Definitely my favorite to grow. I think when they, when they ripen up, the color is awesome. This one was left on the plant. A little bit longer and I actually picked it a few days ago so it's ripened off the plant more so it's a little bit more uh, like a creamy yellow like a little bit more white than the one I ate uh, and that's what will happen they'll turn completely yellow and then if you leave them on for a little bit longer um, they'll kind of go white but seeds are good at either stage at least that's what uh, Kingstar said So yeah, I just got some Kangstar Peach Starkiss seeds, which is just the peach variant of this pepper. So I look forward to growing those uh, for next season and taste testing and comparing uh, the Starkiss to the Starburst. If it's anything like this one, it's gonna be a great pepper. I've heard it's a little bit more mild. So that'll be welcoming, even though I do like the burn on this one, like I said, Maybe crept up to about a six, but nothing unbearable. So yeah, that was the King Star London Starburst, and I'm the Pepper Ranger. Take it easy.